Hi, this is Brad Ward, Chief Instructor with Rocco Rescue. We're at the Rocco Training Center in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where today we're going to talk about how we configure a Stokes basket for a vertical litter. So we've got a Titan basket here in front of us. We're going to work under the assumption that we've got a patient packaged in here, and we're going to go through how we apply a, br a bridle. Uh, at Rocco, we've kind of committed to having a bridle that works for any basket that we're going to be using. So here I've got 10 meters, 33 feet of 9.5 millimeter Technora cordage. We really like the Technora. It's really, really durable. It's supple enough for us to tie knots, and we've had really good luck with it. So I'm going to find the center of this rope, which is going to put me here. Rather than go a single knot like a lot of places do, we've decided to split this so that it'll be two separate bridles. So I'm going to put a butterfly knot on each side. So I'm finding that center, and I'm going to tie myself a small, compact uh, butterfly knot. So I've got an alpine butterfly there, I'm going to flip that around, and I'm going to tie another one. And if I've got this right, I should come pretty close to having these even at the other end. And we're in pretty good shape there. If you're within three or four inches, this will work just fine. So now I'm going to take these butterfly knots and I'm going to anchor them to the top rail of this Titan basket. So I'm going to split this, I'm going to put one bridle on one side, one on the other. I can come under and over. I generally prefer to come over the top. And I'm going to wrap this three times, basically starting a tensionless anchor so that I can grab the top rail of this basket. Now I'm going to take both my main line and my belay system and I'm going to attach them to both butterfly knots. So I've got an auto locking carabiner here. We prefer to use the auto locker, especially on our belay system. So I'm going to bring my belay system in. I'm going to attach to both butterflies. And then I'm going to chase it with another auto locking carabiner or whatever carabiner I use for my main line or load bearing system. And I'm going to bring that in also to both butterflies, which gives me redundancy with this bridle. So I'm attached there. I've got a good safety check there. Now I'm going to bring these bridles down and I'm going to grab this top rail as I come down through. So I can get a couple of wraps up here, start to create some friction. And as I get further down, I can keep it to one or two small wraps within each big window. I don't need to be hitting the small windows. If I'm hitting the big windows, that's going to give me plenty of friction for what we're going to be doing here because I'm going to finish this up with a life safety knot. So I've worked my way down here. I'm going to get a couple of wraps here. Through the big windows. So if I'm putting this on in the field and I'm working uh, to try and get this done as quickly as possible, the first option that we teach is I can come below the, somewhere below the waist, generally around the knees, just below, but we find that this window down in here, either one is a very good option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this window here and I need to finish this with a life safety knot, which will make this a separate bridle from this side. So I'm going to come in and I'm just going to tie a clove hitch. I tie that clove hitch. I'm going to roll this over to tension that up because that's moving it in the direction of travel and it's tightening that bridle down. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now I can place my patient into the basket and to finish this off, I would finish this version with a square knot with overhand safeties. So there's my square knot. I'm going to finish that up with a couple of uptight overhand safeties right up close to the knot to prevent slippage. And that's a really expedient way to do this in the field. But if I've got time to pre-rig and put us in a position where I'm showing up to the rescue with my gear ready to deploy, I would skip this part and continue on and do it in this fashion. So I can pop these out real quick. continue down until I get to the spine of the basket. So now I'm going to come down and I'm going to finish this with the same life safety knot. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to tie a clove hitch. Now I can come back and I can tension this entire system down 
which is going to reduce the stretch we've got in the system, which makes our system more compact and allows us to take advantage of whatever headspace we have for our anchorage system. I'm going to tension that down, bring it around, and I'm going to finish this with a barrel knot safety. So half a double fisherman is going to give me a secure safety that is going to allow this knot to stay in here all the time and I will just safety check it before I put a patient in and deploy it out in the field. So I come down here, other side, continue it down, I'm wrapping in the same direction, grabbing that friction, I'm coming in, tying my final clove hitch, which gives me that life safety knot. I'm gonna tension that down, remove the slack in the system, pull that tight, and I'm gonna finish it with another barrel knot. And that is the vertical bridle for a Rocco vertical Stokes basket.